my heart is sad and lonely. Yo. I have. Hi guys, welcome. Come in, come in. Ngayon, magluluto ako ng corn beef pasta. Samahan nyo ako. <laughs> Ngayon, ECQ ulit, meaning it is a stricter lockdown here in the Philippines until April 4. Nag-request ang asawa ko. Yung favorite nya. So today we will be making a recipe out of the pantry items that we have here at home because we aren't allowed to go out during the ECQ. Let us begin with this amazing corned beef pasta that my mother taught me. To begin with, let us turn on our stove. We have here a pan of water for the pasta later and a pan for the sauce. This is a quick and easy recipe. So we can do this in, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, let's see. Turn on the heat for the pasta water. We have our basic ingredients, the Italian style spaghetti sauce. You can get these in supermarkets and it's basically already like a spaghetti sauce mix but we are going to add ingredients to it to make it a lot better so this basic sauce has already basil oregano and a flavor of parmesan so this is really good they usually come in different flavors like the filipino style which is a bit more sweet but today we are using the italian style we also have our favorite corned beefs Corned beef by Pure Foods and Argentina, you can use any sort of corned beef, but today we are using two cans, one big, which is 380 grams and 260 grams of corned beef together, just because we want that extra meat, meaty goodness in our pasta. We have pasta, of course, the main part. We have cebollas and Bawang, <laughs> forgot that for a second there. Azúcar, which is sugar. We have a little dash of, this is what I have a um, problem saying, Leoparin, according to my mother, <laughs> but it's a um, Worcester sauce. So <laughs> that is um, two tablespoons. And the secret ingredient we have here, instead of using salt, in your recipe, you put the famous patis, fish sauce. So let's begin. While the water is heating up, you put in a lot of salt to make, to season the pasta into the boiling water. So while that's boiling, we also have olive oil because this is a healthier option to use when cooking your sauces. Once the pan has heated up, we pour, we pour in the olive oil so put enough in there make sure the oil is heated up then the first ingredient that we put into the pan are the onions sibuya put the heat down to a medium heat level and then Cook those until they are soft. I love corned beef pasta because it is a simple recipe to make. I'm not very good at cooking, so this is something that I love to make at home when you just want a snack or something simple for lunch. So it is a great recipe. You have to try it instead of using mincemeat. You just have access to cans of corned beef. I think you can find these anywhere in the supermarkets, of course, here in the Philippines and abroad they do have it in Filipino stores, so check that out. As you can see, it's golden brown now, so we're adding the garlic. We want to make sure that the garlic doesn't brown too much because that will give off a bitter taste. So just move it around the pan a bit and just until you smell the aroma of the garlic and the onions, that's when you know 
that the next ingredients should go in. I sound like a professional chef, but I'm actually clueless. <laughs> but these are the basics that we should know about. Really smell the garlic and the onions, and even my eyes are stinging a little bit. And then, once that goes in, you add the corned beef. So you add all the corned beef in. Look at that. And see, it's producing its own liquid and juices when it cooks, so that's part of the flavor. And mix that in with the garlic and the onions. I'm gonna put one more can in because, you know, it's good with that extra meat, so. So mix that in, the juices are coming out and going to be part of that sauce. So let that simmer for just a minute or two, heat up, and let the onions and the garlic infuse with the corned beef. Let's, you know, clean as you go, guys. So it's just clean. That's what we learn in culinary school. <laughs> I didn't go to culinary school, but in my university when I was studying hotel management, part of the culinary class, clean as you go. You just feel a lot better as well. So, as that's simmering, we're just gonna wait. You can add, you know, Filipino hot dogs into this if you want, but we like to keep it simple, keep the flavor simple. As you can see, the juices are starting to bubble and boil a little bit. So we are going to be adding in the spaghetti sauce. Pour that in. I'm going to be pouring in half of it first to see how much we actually need in there. Even if you make too much, don't worry because it's so good you'll want to have it again for dinner and again for lunch the next day. But whatever you do, if there's any sauce left, I used only two thirds of the um, one kilo pack. So they sell these in smaller sachets. You can use two of those smaller sachets. But if you have leftovers, you can freeze this and use it next time. So let the sauce cook a little bit. And then once you start seeing it boil again, you add in the secret ingredients to enhance the flavors. We have a teaspoonful of sugar. Adding sugar in creates that umami flavor and it balances out the sour flavor of the tomato sauce. We have the Worcester sauce going in now. Worcester sauce kind of creates a little bit of a smoky flavor in your dishes. Mix that in. You can put in a probably half a teaspoon of pepper first. Just depends how peppery you like the taste. And then you mix that in. You can add a bit more later to your actual um, pasta when you're about to eat it, but it's nice to have it cook into the corned beef pasta sauce. And last but not least, my favorite, adding in the patisse. This is something that my mother taught me. It's a corned beef macaroni pasta, so this was something that I never forgot about, the patisse. Fish sauce, you can use Thai fish sauce, Filipino fish sauce, whatever is available, just to give a bit of that salty flavor. I can hear the water boiling now for the pasta. Once it starts boiling, you add however much you want to make. We are making it, this serving is for three to four people because I eat a lot of pasta. A lot of pasta. So one handful goes in. Using two kinds of pasta because, you know, got to finish off what you have in the pantry. It makes a nice different texture too, a thicker pasta and spaghetti, but you can use one kind or macaroni if you want. What I'm using is fettuccine and spaghetti at the moment. So, push those in. we cook the pasta, we want to make sure that we don't want to overcook it because we're trying to attain the Italian al dente. So it's a little bit 
It's not crunchy, but it has a harder texture than when pasta is overcooked and too soft. My husband is uh, salivating behind the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sauce now um, while it's still boiling and simmering. So let's try. Perfect, of course. <laughs> so while you're waiting for the pasta to boil, turn down the heat on the pasta sauce and just let it simmer a bit more. And once that's all done, it's gonna come together and very easy dish, as you can see. I'm just going to check to see if the pasta's al dente already, not too soft. That's perfect, right Chelsea? Let's check the fettuccine though, just in case, because it's a bit thicker, so. Still a little bit hard. <laughs> Few more minutes. Pasta's done, we're going to go strain it from the boiling water. A little bit of a facial while you're doing it. Open the steam. Right, so take the pasta, we're gonna put it in a bowl and mix it with the pasta sauce. So add the pasta to the bowl. That is a lot, but it's so good, you're gonna eat all of it. Take note when cooking different types of pasta, for example, the fettuccine, which was a bit thicker, put that one in first and then the spaghetti because it takes a bit longer to cook the thicker pasta. If you're just using one kind, then no problems there. <laughs> then you add the sauce in. Be generous with the sauce, because the more sauce, the better. This is a Pinoy twist to everyday spaghetti pasta sauce. And then you mix that sauce in, look at that saucy goodness, into the pasta. The corned beef chunks, it's just amazing. My mouth is watering as we speak and I can't wait to have this. So you can serve this with hot sauce, Tabasco, if you like it a bit spicy or with chili flakes and also Parmesan cheese. And there you have it. An aking corned beef pasta recipe. <laughs> If you enjoyed this recipe, let me know if you've tried to make it at home. If you have any suggestions to make a, a better version of this corned beef pasta, let me know because I would love to try it as well. I have been trying your recommendations. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and just share the love. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time. <laughs>